What was your this person is on another level of stupid moment. Dude burned down his convenience store for an insurance claim and stopped the milk and bread deliveries the day before. Demolished my right foot and a bunch of other shit in a motorcycle crash and had to have the top of my foot removed. Guy I worked with asked me when it would grow back. I explained that the skin and stuff was going to have to be grafted but the tendons and bones that had been removed were gone forever. He looked me dead in the eye and asked why don't they just cut the whole fucking thing off and let it grow back. Kawaka bought a low flow shower head. He filled the bathtub using the new low flow shower head because it would use less water. I'm an identical twin and have been asked all manner of utterly ridiculous questions about it throughout my life. But I think the stupidest was when a girl once asked me do you ever get yourselves mixed up with each other? I responded are you asking me if I ever sometimes think I'm my brother? She replied, yeah. No, I don't. The time I watched someone who had missed their exit on the highway, stop on the shoulder, back up, turn around, and go up the entrance ramp. I could not fucking believe it. I work for Parks Canada in Yoho National Park. I have been asked the question, seriously, where do you keep the animals at night? Twice in my career. To this day I still find great joy imagining what they thought was going on each night as we collected every large animal in the parks. This was my first experience in retail where I learned what many customers would be like. Seasons were changing, so we put a lot of shirts we had to get rid of in the front and made them 50% off. I was working the register when a woman came up to buy her things. I rang her up and could see a look on her face like something was wrong. That's when the following happened. Lady, why is this so much? Me, pardon me? Lady, this should only be $10 not $20. I thought that maybe her item was on sale, so I asked if she could point out the sign because I wasn't aware of it. It was a small store and we didn't have to walk anywhere. Lady, this sign here. Me, this sign says that all shirts are 50% off. Lady, yes, so why is this full price? Me, this is a hat. Back when the Fukushima nuclear power plant disaster happened we were discussing how the reactor had failed in a science class. Five minutes into the conversation a girl piped up and said, I don't see what the big deal is. Why can't we just regrow it? She dead ass thought a nuclear power plant was a plant. I was a co-hostess with a girl in a restaurant, watching ads on a hanging TV for a new movie. At the end, it said coming soon to a theater near you, to which she turned to me with wide eyes and genuinely asked, how do they know where I live? Summer camp counselor made all the kids on a school bus keep the windows up on a hot day because they could feel the air conditioning coming from the front of the bus. It was so hot and I, maybe 10 years old at the time, had to explain to the 40 year old counselor that the air conditioning they were feeling was the wind coming in through the bus driver's open window. She still didn't believe me. I begged her to ask the bus driver to confirm the bus did not have air conditioning, but she didn't want to bother him while he was driving. It was like a one hour bus trip. She finally got hot enough and asked the bus driver if the bus had air conditioning. And he jokingly said, the bus only has air conditioning when the windows are down and the wheels are turning. She then looked back at me and said, see, I told you the bus had air conditioning and proceeded to force us to keep the windows up. We asked our classmate to prove she knew the seven continents. Her list went like this, North America, Europe, China, the Pacific Ocean, I should you not. Watching a man try to open the locked front door of my shop while a bright red closed sign was literally inches from his face. He kept looking at the door like it was just stuck. There was a girl in my high school who forced the teacher to pause a documentary about people living in mud huts in Africa because she was upset that they were showing us fictional movies in a history class. It took everyone else in the room to convince her that people actually live like that in some places. Wealthy area living for ya. 
I was friends with with a guy who believed those fake Apple adverts like Apple Wave, microwave your phone for instant battery charge. I was so dumbfounded that he actually fell for it when I saw him the week after and he had a new phone it all clicked for me. When I was younger I was mad that everyone else had an accent and I didn't. Three years later I realized that I did in fact have an accent and that I was on another level of stupid. How much is a half dollar worth? She was the newest teller my boss hired. Will never forget that moment. Had someone ask me is Europe on earth? A friend didn't have coins for a vending machine, but did have a dollar. She folded up the dollar and forced it into the coin slot and then did not understand why she did not get her item. Once in middle school, I simply could not get the concept of the phrase, the day after tomorrow, through to a kid. He couldn't wrap his mind around it. I used to work with a girl who was sweet but so dumb. We were in a meeting once and somehow someone mentioned baked ham. My manager said, ugh I hate ham. It looks like human flesh. The girl I mentioned was sitting next to me and looked horrified and whispered, does ham really come from people? I worked at a restaurant and we had a dish that was just a whole grilled chicken, chopped into pieces. A woman who ordered for delivery called us, absolutely scathing, complaining that her order of one whole chicken only contained two chicken breasts. Had to explain to grown ass woman that chicken only have two breasts. Rescued a cow walker on the side of the road with a flat tire, waiting for the tow truck, I pointed out the male at the top of their tire. They scoffed and looked at me like I was the stupidest person in the world and exclaimed. That's not true BC it's flat at the bottom. I just walked away and never brought it up again. At, at the time I was working at a grocery store that had a coinsta machine. Basically you could place all of your unwrapped change in it and it would be converted for a small fee that you could use for actual cash. I was walking past and noticed a woman struggle with the machine. I stopped to help her, turns out she had accidentally hit Spanish as a language selection. I quickly explained what she needed to do figuring she couldn't read Spanish, we were in the US, and this is where her struggles came from. So I run through how it works, and show her where the receipt will print out, that she can turn in at customer service for the cash. She turns and looks at me and says, but I don't want Spanish money. Sigh, then I have to explain to her that she would get paid in US dollars. We were talking about the Irish potato famine in college, and this one girl said oh wow, I thought it was the potato family. As if that wasn't enough, she later asked why were they so eager to get jobs? If I was that hungry I wouldn't even try to get a job. Man, I wish I was joking. Ex flatmate cancelled the gas and electricity contract because it was too expensive. Wondered why we had no more electricity nor gas. She thought we paid 90 euros a month to get a hotline 24 over 7 in case of problem. I had to explain to a girl why you cold and grow your hair down in front of your face and just cut out eye holes. Even explaining it her she cold and grasp it and brushed me off as being too smart. I had to explain to a woman that apples did not contain any gluten, meat, or dairy ingredients. How can one think apples contain dairy? She thought gluten was found in every major grain and that apples were a grain because they have seeds. I had a co-worker who could never figure out what time her 15 minute break was over. We were both bank tellers. My friend is allergic to walnuts. One day, he made this sandwich in our college dorm. It had walnuts garnished on top of the bread. I then remember him telling me oh look there's walnuts on here, and proceeds to eat the entire sandwich. At the time I didn't know he was allergic. I leave to shower, and when I come back there are two paramedics in our dorm taking him out on a stretcher. The following day I asked what happened to which he replies something along the line I accidentally ate some walnuts which I am allergic to, and by the time I went to get a Benadryl, my throat had started to close and I couldn't swallow it, so I had to call 9 double one. I was just utterly shocked how he even let this entire situation happen. I really couldn't believe it. He had known there were walnuts on the bread and still ate it. College days, am I right? 
a rolled coworker was telling me that there's people out there that think Alaska is an island. I laughed in disbelief, but another coworker overheard and was flabbergasted. What? It's not? But it's always drawn off to the side with Hawaii. Point made. Another time a guy with a really thick accent walked in, same girl was like, oh why I like your accent, where are you from, said guy, have a guess, her response, have egoist, I've never heard of that place before, and walked away. She is super sweet, just slightly oblivious. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to consider the idea to maybe think about potentially subscribing. Peace.